Hello, and welcome back to our Curse Plays, Crusader Kings 3. Now, as I collect my thoughts, alright, so, I've been taking a look around the world, I paused it between last time and this time, so I can get a better sense of what our wider, uh, what our wider conflicts are, and that sort of thing. So, I have two duchies underneath me. However, I have specifically made it... Well, I have one duchy underneath me. I've specifically made it so that uh, he's fairly weak. I don't want him trying to take over the kingdom. It's going to be the same over here. So, I have been making a few notes and plans uh, from one... Uh, from one play game to another. So... First and foremost, let's take a look down at Wessex here. Wessex is probably uh, the most powerful of all of the nations here in uh, on the English Isles. Uh, they have 3,500 men. Uh, they're comparable to me. We're comparable in power, which is good. Uh, so is Alba. But however, each one of us individually uh, is not able to take on the uh, the three big um, the three big Viking powers uh, that have taken over much of the English Isles. <coughs> Excuse me. However, I think if I can get into pacts, into alliance pacts with each of them and to try to get them into packs with each other, that would be very, very good. Because I think that together, uh, we will be powerful enough uh, to start taking out the... to start taking out all the... Uh, all the Vikings. Now, why do I want to get rid of the Vikings at all? Should be the question that uh, you might want to that you might want to ask. Well, the problem is actually religion. So, if we go to the religion map mode, we can see all these lands that are Catholic, and these lands that have lines in them are Catholic but ruled by Asatru. And Asatru is powerful, Catholicism is powerful. And what this means for us is that as an insular Christians, the Catholics don't really have as much of a problem with us uh, as they do with Asatru. And Asatru um, has a huge problem with basically everyone who exists. So basically what I'm saying is there, there can't really be any peace uh, between our nations uh, just based on religion. Because uh, what will happen <coughs> is eventually, if we let it, a, um, a Norse Asatru king will eventually take over England and might eventually uh, declare Britannia. And if he declares Britannia, because he owns most of this, except for maybe us, um, what he'll do is he'll then, you know, basically force us to submit to him, and then, oh, we're a heretic, and he'll kill us off and take all of our land. The Catholics are more likely to ask for a conversion from us before they do that. Uh, they're less likely to just kill us. They are more likely to force a conversion, in which case... I would be happy to do so because Catholicism is thick. Catholicism big. I would not have a problem with my character becoming Catholic. In fact, I could probably fix that in a couple of generations by, let's say, my son. He has children. Uh, we could actually get his children um, too far away to interact with. going on with my children.
or with my grandchildren, actually. So what I could probably do... It's outside my diplomatic range. Why? You're located in Leibniz. You're in Pastega. Where's this? Why are my grandchildren so far away? I think I might have to land my son and uh, <clears throat> force his uh, to force his family into my court. Preferably, I want to do that soon. But with my two children, I have two daughters right now. Yeah, I have two daughters right now. Two unmarried, unbetrothed daughters. So, and I've noticed that both Alba and Wessex have, uh, Unmarried, so this is your primary heir. It's this son here. Not him, that's strange. And he has a, uh, and he has a, a son. So if I go to arrange a marriage with, say, my daughter. I could get a uh, an alliance, but he won't accept that. He won't accept because he has low opinion. <coughs> really, it's because he has low opinion of me. However, will you marry your son to my daughter? He'll accept this one. And uh, we will get an alliance. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to send the proposal there. So we're also going to arrange a marriage between one of our daughters with Anna, uh, with his son, uh, to get an alliance with him. So let's let time go for a little bit. Yep, we have formed an alliance with Petty King Uhtred the Impaler. And what's gonna and it's really nice about that alliance is that we're going to maintain that alliance even if the king dies. He's gonna live for a long time. So unless this kid here dies, we have Okay, so Ivar finally won that war for here. So unless this uh Unless both of them die here, we are in a defensive war with Wessex. And pretty much we are, his health is poor, so this alliance might not last very long. However, it's, a it's an alliance through a betrothal, so I could always take the betrothal away and say try to marry off to one of his son's sons. So, we could say, arrange a marriage between one of our daughters uh, and this son here, if he dies. No, it's simply not how you say it. The vulnerable scholar who invented the words said it, and it was pronounced the way I am saying it. My son Michael and I are having a raging debate which shows no sign of a mating. Having passed a nearby gibbet, he had remarked on it, being fluent in the Gulday language as I am, I gently correct him with the, on his pronunciation. It begins with a hard sound, not a soft one, obviously. So he had the, tele, he had the temerity to disagree, and disagree vociferously, no less.
can't believe you're still holding to this lumbering linguistic position. So, frustrated my insistence. Um, we'll agree to disagree. I'll take the stress. Um, did I not try to arrange a marriage with your son here? Um... Oh, he won't accept. That's weird. So maybe we go to his primary heir and attempt to arrange a marriage with my granddaughter. It won't be matrilineal. I need to get him to like me more. So I'm going to start a sway scheme. Try and get that going. Now, next, 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 we have another little bit to take care of. So let me consult my notes because I made I made notes for this. All right. All right, yeah, the next one. Okay, so now that we're king, uh, we can ask these guys if they would take vassalage of us. They have a base reluctance, so they're not, re you know, they don't want to. And that's going to be fine with me. So they won't accept. Uh, one, because he's arrogant. But that arrogance is not going to serve him well. Because now that I'm a king, uh, when I declare war, I could conquer his duchy, and I have enough. Um, and I have enough uh, faith. I have way more than enough faith um, to just conquer his entire duchy. And all of these will go to me, and I could pass them out as as I wish. And I'm probably going to give them to my uh, and I'm going to give them to my ally here. So, this one's going to be first. Here's my whole army. Go here. So, Queen, her aptitude is terrible, but if we replace you, her aptitude is average, which is much, much better. She also likes me, so she's less able to kill me. So, 
She'll lose 30 opinion of me. It'll cost me 200. I'm not going to immediately fire you. My wife is... To hire the new one, my wife is probably not going to be on this earth for much longer. So yeah, we're going to try to get this guy to like us. Um, and that way... Uh, my daughter Juliana just died. Why would you do this to Juliana? If I have sinned, why don't you not punish me instead? She was blameless. My perfect daughter life had so much in store for her. So that's more stress. So, Alliance inspired. Alright, so her. How did she die? Oh, she died in childbirth. However, we do have a grandson here. I was thinking that maybe she died in a, uh,. Okay, so we lost an alliance on that. Ah, we lost our alliance to, uh, to this guy in here. Well, he's, he's gone now. accept that and we can get this alliance back. I think that's a good idea. Good. Because he wants uh, a powerful ally here. I hope you're marching someone else there somewhere else. Ireland is off limits to you. The smell it is served. The terrible, bit, the deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Ninety-five percent chance. Let's go. Thanks to the duck and the poison vial, your ivory is finally dead. It seems that none of my agents are under suspicion, which means no one can trace it back to me. Must have been something. Here. Excellent. So now we can see what this did to his realm. Uh. here. Okay. I can't disband you because 
because there are still enemy raiders around. titles. So, holster. We're going to grant this to someone. You know what, before we do that, let's, uh, let's go to our court. We have one unhandled situation. I find my daughter Anna sitting on the floor surrounded by spilled paint and pieces of canvas for the third time this month. My courtiers whisper about her being an artistic genius in the making, but the servants complain about scrubbing the floors, free of paint, in the wake of her aspirations. We could ask her to stop and lose court grandeur, but we are going to, uh, nurture her genius. Right, so, we have taken the spear of High Chieftain Kumasak. This is going to give us prowess and raid speed. So we're going to go ahead and equip that to our character. Now this is a screen I haven't shown anybody, but we have looked at it once or twice. So our character, uh, we can collect artifacts as time goes on. And our character can wear or use these artifacts and they give them uh, bonuses. As well as there's a little bit of history on it. So this is a long spear of fine craftsmanship. The wrought iron head is mounted on an elegant oak shaft. It has been carved with thin lines to enhance the look of the material as well as providing texture and a nice grip. So, we couldn't really do too much with this uh, today, or before, because, you know, we needed uh, we needed to unlock our royal court. But now, we can actually um, appoint a, an antiquarian. So, uh, we're going to give it to Coleman Berry. Uh, we're going to give it to him. So, if I revoke it, I'm going to lose 200. That's fine. Uh, his opinion with us goes up, which is going to be nice. Uh, but this is also going to cause our artifacts uh, to decay slower. As you can see, there is a uh, decay. So this is going to take 35 more years. However, we can reforge or repair it. Repairing it will cost us 25 gold. And it will refill this bar all the way. Uh, the cost of it is going to go up the more it needs to be repaired. Uh, we can also reforge it, which will turn it into an artifact we can display in our court instead. So, there's that. So, now that we've taken care of that, I was worried that I would have to actually hold court, which is not going to be for another couple of years. Uh, in which case, like, sometimes you're going to have people in your court who are going to demand land, so, right now, because I had land to give away, you know. Okay, so we're above our domain limit. We have these two victories. Um, we can create the Duchy of Bolster, which we need gold for, which we are going to do. And we're going to give it to our ally here. Or at least he was our ally. He's. Yeah, he's still allied to me. Normally, it shows the little. Uh, yeah, there it is. Shows the flags. Oh, that's just his army I was clicking on, that's why. So we have a powerful vassal who expects a council position. You're not powerful. You hold a bishop brick, man. You're you're not powerful in the least. So let's see who we can reward with land. And oh man. We have a. Uh, we have a couple of guests we can recruit to court. Coleman. Coleman, you are going to receive Ulster. Coleman Barry. You are going to receive the Earldom of Ulster. And I'm going to keep I like for myself right now, uh, simply because uh, because I own it uh, directly. Oh, 
council. Oh, he's no longer my antiquarian, darn. Um, that's going to take a ticking uh, increase in its... Uh, that's going to take a ticking increase in its uh, stability, or its control. So, he's got three years left of what he's doing there. Ah, here it is. Well, oh, sappers. One more. One more Marshall perk until strategist. now approaching 4,400 men in our army, and uh, as you can see, we're still making a pretty good bit of prestige, which means uh, we can spend more on our military. I'm going to go ahead and bring these guys up to the next size. among the children today. Luke was attempting to preach amongst his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Antonius was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of Christ and chased away the other children. It will serve to the divine well. Ah yes, Coleman. Coleman is now powerful and expects a seat on my council. Aren't you good at anything, Coleman? No. But you're not so powerful that you really uh that you're really someone I need to worry about. Let's take a look at fates. So far we're all still insular. Cultures, we're all still Irish. So let's take a look at how his realm has done. So he still has quite a few men, however, most of his, uh, uh, most of his allies are gone. So, we've broken his realm a little bit. He has claims elsewhere, but let's see what we can do about Jorvik. Jorvik is really, really weak right now. That's actually really good for us. You are still powerful. You're powerful with many sons. And we have a good chance to assassinate you. So we are going to do so. There's no one we can invite to this one. Someone wants to murder him, but they have a really, really, uh, um, but they have a really, really small chance of succeeding. Let's see. We're going to wait for our military uh, to recover fully, and we need to ah bestow royal favor. Good, good, good. That task is finished. So he's now going to go back to doing what? Everyone kind of likes me, so let's, let's have you handle foreign affairs. So we are we are missing champions. So we're gonna use the trick instead of fighting people. We're gonna go to our courtiers. 
So, your guest, your guest, your guest, is my wife, or my Cortus is in prison, you're my spy master, and you're not married? Lisping. Six, two, no, we want matrilineal marriages, so, 15, ooh, 24. Yes, you're going to be a knight. You're going to fight for me. This is my son. She's one of my courtiers. I really want her to stay. Eight, six, uh, matrimonial, please. Eight, six, seven, eleven. Aacade, you're pretty high up there. Nineteen. Fifteen. We're gonna go with Mr. Nineteen here. That's gonna bring him in. That's three, and the rest are just my daughters. Okay. So we'll wait for those to come to pass. There we go. Eight and nine champions. So now, in the pool we've got here. We can't afford to recruit him, and I really don't want to recruit you because you're basically useless. Oh, and he was not swayed. So let's put this here. We're gonna raise our army here. It's uh it's finally time for this guy here. So he'll still not accept vassalage from me. Oh, oh. their duchy title, but we're, we're going to have to create that title anyway, so let's just take the, uh, let's just take the earldom, and then we're going to have all of Ireland except for this little piece here.
Spy Master. It's coming with great news. This is my wife. I was plotting against my Archbishop. Let's take, let's take care of things in our house. Charger cleaning the clothes and harvesting guards is brought to me. No one will notice him tampering with their clothes. And if something is distracting, the guards can complain. Of our commands here. Alright, so because this and uh, Dublin are both part of the Neath, uh, I'm planning on keeping this one right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away Alec right now. Now, control is up higher in here, which is good. We're helping our ally in Leinster at the moment. So I'm going to make this away. Someone who's my champion. Once I create the Duchy Ulster. Then they'll be under that person. It's gonna be this person here. Ah. Let's see, who are you ransom? Oh, he'll pay for the ransom. Sure. Irish bureaucracy generally trundles forward under its own momentum. But once in a blue moon, an issue without a clear solution rears its ugly head. Today is it is Green Land, commander of Desmond's local garrison, and Iglis is celebrating the senior month for Mayo with the Dark Heads. The lights can be stripped from the details, but it seems to become clear neither party is in the right. Only one will be here satisfied. This is Desmond versus Mayo. Ten gold? Whose house are you part of? Yeah, I'll rent that for ten gold. Oh, he's allied. Oh. 
and conversion. Okay, we cook. Get them all, all out of there. Still only have eight of nine champions. Well, we're still making plenty. More archers, I think. Yeah, that's my first maximum sized uh, army unit. All is currently well in my uh, in my realm. I do want to create the Duchy of Ulster. Once I have yet. No, not even with my granddaughter. Come on. You've only got your 4,000 men, and that's mostly because of mercenaries. My agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it near our Harlstein's bed before dark. All they need is my go ahead. Now, let's see. We still can't invite anybody. But let's go ahead and try it. There's a chance. He's dead. By the lethal bite of a deadly spider, the spider struck not long after. And the guards were called. No one can do a thing to save him. Thankfully, spiders do not talk. All right. Excellent. Things are coming up, Mill House. Alright, so you can see what we just did to his realm now. So his uh this guy is still pretty uh pretty strong. And uh he's ended up allied to this guy here of Mercia, who's not very strong, uh, as well as this person here. So they're all allies. How are how are these alliances going? So it's negotiated. It's a negotiated alliance. So we can't really break those too easily. And he is just not as powerful as he used to be. I think we're going to try to break this alliance just as a point of uh, contention. So, one of these two. 2136. 2136. Let's go ahead and we'll end up causing more chaos in his realm. Soon, soon. Ah, oh, we were able to sway him. His opinion is up. Good. It's up to negative 15. Can we get an arranged marriage for one of my granddaughters? Preferably this one. Gotta raise it. A little bit more. Because of me, with my alliances right now, we could take him. We'll 
see how this goes. We can get four people in on this. Oh, wow. You're worth it. You're worth the bribe. So that's 33%, that puts up at 50. let these go through. So they join the scheme. So we generally just need to invite one more who doesn't have a ton. It doesn't cost a lot. He's 15. The other one is 13. You'll do it. This will break that alliance and then we'll be ready to take this and we can reunite all of Ireland. I just have to create all the all the duchies I need. Oh, we're now at Court Granger level two. I don't like that. Something dropped down. Why? I want my prestige up. Change those anemones. Hmm. So, yeah, we're about ready to strike at the Vikings here. I'm gonna wait for this to fire. Caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate young shouts at me drinking my son Antonius and made him in the He stole a whole keg of meat. Antonius just sat there as I drank myself in the oblivion. Someone needs a lesson in personal responsibility. So he'll become diligent. This is going to take a year to fire. A lot can happen in this diplomacy by the time this goes. Still somehow, he's got a lot of these guys. Bondi, encounter, my archers. This is why I've been investing so heavily in, uh, in my military, actually. Gotta create that dodgy sooner rather than later. Well, county control, we're, we're working on that. About another month. These armored footmen won't be ready. I can't afford to increase them anymore at this point. I'm gonna have to spend some time. Alright, so I would like Yes, Court Grinder level 3. Okay, I would like um, I would like Okay, so you're married to uh, accept a guest. He's a competent diplomat. He's a competent diplomat. Ooh, you're expensive. You're expensive, but you're going to be great. I need you 
you on my team. Strategist. Strategist is great. Ups my marshal, ups enemy fatalities, casualties. Um, and I can cross rivers and straits without penalties. So I could cross here. Weighty problem. I've been aware of my size of the only thing to me. But as I continue to pick up my first dish, so the next course. As the next course is queue up, that's this strikes the tail so we can't let this go on any longer. Can't sit by here and watch it waste away back in the time. My bridal so it's hard to look indignant behind up mounting out dishes when you don't find too much time to eat. It's a time consuming business for me. What? You're right. Ah, my character hasn't been eating, that's right. What? He, you know, he's our son. He's our friend. You know, he's just he's trying his best. It's a fresh, sunny day, and I can see the sweat dripping off Michael's chin as he continues to encourage me forward. The sack of rocks on my back groans under the weight, and I do too as I throw it down over the line in the dirt that Michael is strong with a stick. He claps his hands together, like, looking stronger already, but I think it's time to move on to something a bit bigger. I know they're currently conducting drainage work, so that next field over and could use some help. Otherwise, if you're feeling brave, there's a copse of trees just over the crest of the log again. What do you think? I'm 52. Bring me an axe. We're not afraid of anything. Felling trees is dangerous business for someone's inexperience for myself. Even being overseen by Michael's watchful eye, the combination of my lack of awareness and exertion has already resulted in a few close shaves. Watching my accident the wood of a nearby log, I pause to drink from my flask. Michael approaches me with his own ass on over shoulder. He can really take on something bigger, he says cheerfully, to gain his axe. The tree being pointed to is huge, a towering hardware that I am rarely expecting to his tents. Alright, so this is zero percent chance that I die. Okay. Wow, how hard can it be? I like that there's a little symbol uh, to let us know that, uh, uh, to let us know that the possibility of death is a thing that can uh, happen. Nice, we gained the lumberjack trait. So attrition taken in forest, minimum battle roll in forest. This, and he needs a pity on us. When the task completed, I bid farewell to the peasants I had been working alongside with Michael. They cheerily waved me off, completely unsuspecting as to my normal origins, and returned to my usual lodgings. Though my muscles are sore, I feel flushed with strength and vitality. Spying a large basin of water on the other side of the room, I haul myself to my feet and approach it. You know, my shirt and the flicker of a candlelight, I regard myself in the water's reflection. Oh, I gained the trait strong. And Michael gains the trait loyal. Ronnie for five years. Yeah. I look great. And now I have the tree strong, so... Oh. Medium health boost. My character's doing great. He's probably gonna live into his 90s. I might not even get a chance to play as my son. Alright. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way, the poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to Jarl Burrito alone. It was rubbed with the poison. The bed of herbs will mask the smell. Bon appetit. It did its job. The Jarl is no more. This is not my agents are under suspicion. Excellent. Alright. Ooh. And he's gone with another but uh, it's not as good of an ally, really. He keeps trying. This is through, through a marriage. It's a two-way. Ah, it is through he himself. I have a good chance of killing him, too.
he's uh he's not under direct control of this anymore and he's at war this is a good time this is a good time attack from this bishop brick here. We're going to take the war target immediately. My champions are all filled out. My military is ready. It's time to finally unite Ireland, everyone. Let's send the declaration of war. Uh, we want a county, and we just want Dublin. We have a total of 9,000 men at our disposal. He has up to 7,000 at his. So, it's going to cost us prestige to call on our allies, and we might not need to. try to subjugate him, but I don't have enough. Subjugation would really be the way to go, actually. So right now, we just want Dufflin or Dublin. It's going to cost me not piety, because he's not part of my uh, part of my culture. We can call Essex to war. I'm going to do it in just as a precaution. We have to prove that our alliance works at I'm no longer obese. Cool. I don't know when my character became obese. And my son was talking about how my character doesn't, uh... You know, about how he doesn't, uh... Eat enough. What's nice is we're not going to take any, uh... We're not going to take any penalties crossing this straight. Here are our allies coming in. Oh, they're going straight for the capital. I love you guys. Inspired moderation. Following the death of a lowly thief, that was my daughter Anna when she thought. She claimed she learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one temperate. She can become just. She can become cynical. I think we're going to help her to be just. She has to be taught the proper, taught the proper execution of the law. Alright, so we're going to move up here. No, you guys can Stay there. He's bringing his forces back, and I'm bringing mine in. Oh, he chose to uh, bypass. What is he doing in his army? Oh my god. We need die. not 
not attacking me. I'm so proud to see my son is no longer a child, but an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child. Okay, so he's a he's a scholar. And he's an astute intellectual. Plus three. Okay, so we took that. Let's take the next place. No idea what his army's off doing. your army, sir. I found it. I need to bring my army home, is what I need to do. Because they don't have enough supplies. Ticking war score, so we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to do too much. Oh, we're real close. To being great. Oh, it's down. Let's teach diligence. They took that. Lifestyle perk. 
this other leader that he, this other, uh, war that he's in is kind of screwing me up. Passing through my courthouse, an unrecognizable face approaches me. I'm a sensual leech. I'm a cynic, former courtier of your vassal, Chief Discafan. She is asking me to present myself before you and partake in your court. She has also given me a letter of introduction that only you may read. After reading the seal, the letter simply really reads Dear Benedict, please assassinate the bearer of this, uh, this. 82%. And then she. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Rise of the Scots, so they share common origins with the other Anglo-Saxons. The clans living in Britain's lowlands have adapted to the life of rugged terrain. Diverging culturally and linguistically from their former countrymen, these Scots have enthusiastically embraced their new cultural identity. They'd be able to thrive on their own. Negative 80. Expand our our armies here, and finally, we have all of Scotland to ourselves, or all of Ireland actually. And by taking that, we have gone ahead and uh, oh, he hired a ton of mercenaries. He's got the gold for it, I guess. a marriage between Jarl. You know what? Let's continue to uh, continue down this path. Alright. So, this seems to be a good place to end today. Uh, currently, we are working on our scheme. Oh, he likes us a lot now. Excellent. Now. What's really nice about that is that, let's say, the king dies, which he's probably going to do soon. He changed his primary heir. Why? Why is the heir to Alba unlanded? say things work the way they're supposed to. For some reason, I don't know why this guy is the heir to the kingdom of Alba. I'm probably going to have him killed so that this can probably come back into the, uh, come back into the family. 
child of a concubine. Okay, so he was probably disinherited. So was he. I don't know why he isn't. What's going on in the Kingdom of Alpha? I wish I could see what their, uh, what their laws are. So they can nominate. So the guy we want is third in line. Alright. I know we're working on this, uh, but, uh, well, we'll see how this goes. Anyways, uh, we are far over time today because that war took a lot longer than I thought it was. I never thought it would. Anyways, we have finally, uh, we finally conquered all of Ireland. Uh, we still need to dole out pieces of land to get our feudal structure going uh, to create a strong state uh, from which we can free the rest of the English Isles from Nordic oppression and maybe also Catholic oppression. So we'll come back next time and uh, we'll get our state's affairs in order. Thanks for watching. The Sarkaris, signing off.